Hello everyone, Fashion and welcome to Web Dev in 10, where we break down web development concepts in just 10 minutes. If you are here to level up your coding skills, you have come to the right place. Welcome back everyone. Today marks the beginning of our React Hook series. In this video, we will delve into the practical use of React Hooks while coding. Our starting point is the use state hook. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting off, this series is designed to provide valuable insights into React's powerful features. So let's jump right in and explore the use state hook together. So what exactly is a React Hook? A React Hook is a special function that allows you to use the state and other React features in functional components. So what do we mean by a state? A state refers to the data that represents the condition or values of a component at a given point in time. So what do we mean by this? Think of a state in React like giving a name to something, let's say a div. Imagine you have this div and you want to remember its name or make changes to it whenever you want. That's where the state comes in. So you decide to give a special memory to the div and you call it the state. Now you can store the div's name in this memory and whenever you forget or want to change the name, you can easily access this memory which you called the state. It is like having a label on the div that you can read or update anytime you need to. That way your div always knows its name and you can also keep track of it in your code. Now that we have a good understanding of what the hook and the state are, let's dive into the use state hook. A use state hook is a React hook used to store and update data in a component state. To declare a state using the use state hook, we use the syntax displayed on the screen. Now let's break down each term. The const. Const is used to declare a constant variable. If you do not have a good understanding of declaring variables, you can check out my article. I will leave the link in the description below. Now the next thing is the state. This refers to the current value of the state and it can be accessed anywhere in your functional component. No, this does not necessarily have to be called a state. You can call it whatever you want. Name, apple, orange, whatever. It's just the name you give or assign to your state. Now the next thing is the set state. This is used to update the state. It can be a new value or a callback function. We'll explore this better when I show you when I explain this in the code editor, but for now, just know it is used to update the state and it can also be called anything, but the common convention is set. Whatever the name of the state is, let's say you call your state name, the set state will be set name with the N as a capital letter. That's just the common convention and easy for developers all over the world to understand. The next thing now is the initial state. The initial state, this is the initial value of the state when the component is rendered. Now that I know how to declare a state using the use state, let's check some do's and don'ts of the use state hook. The first one is use a descriptive name. Look at this declaration for example. We have const, count, set count, and then the initial state is zero. We understand what this is trying to do. We know this is a count or related to numbers or something. But look at the other one. It just says C and set C. What is C? What is set C? If someone that does not know what you're trying to code sees this, they won't understand what you're trying to do. So use a descriptive name. The second one is use a function for updating the state when needed. You know the set state takes in a new value or a callback function. So it's able to use the callback function anytime you want to update the state. We better understand this when I open the code editor. The third one is do not skip the initial state. Do not rely when the initial state is skipped, you have a null or undefined value for the initial state. It's advisable to try to avoid that at all times. Always have an initial state. Do not rely on undefined or null. Number four says avoid using use state in conditional statements. What do we mean by conditional statements? Look at this for example. If you have if, let's say if high is greater than something and you now put a use state inside the condition if and else condition, that is not right and should not be done. The next thing is avoid using use state in loops or nested functions. Now let's check the next one. Do not modify the component state directly, which is the same as what we said previously that it is advisable to use a callback function when updating. Now that we have all that done, let's open our code editor where I explain this better and you can actually see what's going on and how the use state works. I already installed my React folder using the npx React, React app command my command prompt if you know not to install a react folder i'll put the link to the documentation in the description below 
so now i open my source folder and delete this i'm only leaving the index.js so inside the index.js i'm going to remove this i'm going to create another app.js file If you are unable to use this command, that's probably because you don't have the emit extension. You can download the extension here, or you can just type this out the way it is. And then I'll run the npm start in the terminal. Now that our React application has started here, I'm putting it side by side so you can be able to see anytime you make any changes. Now I'll go to the app.js file. I will be creating the counter application where you can increase the count, decrease the count, or reset the count. I'm going to be using our used hook to achieve this. So the first thing I want to do is a little HTML, nothing much. So I'll create a section, and inside the section, I'll put an edit one. And for now, I'm just going to put zero inside, and then I'll create three buttons. This is going to be the decrease button. The reset button and it's going to be the increase button now the next thing we're going to do is import our use state hook from react whatever state you declare you can only access it in this app.js file so now let's declare our state using the use state hook so that's const open and close square bracket we have count and set count and that's equals to use state and our initial state which is zero so now that we have our count and our set count we're going to create three functions to increase the count to decrease the count and to reset the count so let's do the increased count first an arrow function using the set count we're going to put a callback function inside to increase the number of counts and inside here we're going to put brief you can put anything you like, but it's better to use brief count, which means the previous count, and then brief count plus plus, which is also the same thing as brief count equals brief count plus one. But the shorter method is this, and then we we'll return the brief count. That's all. That's all we have to do. The next thing is the reset. We set count we do the same thing here set count brief count return zero and we'll not have we'll not need this brief count so the next thing is decrease count and that's set count and then brief count minus minus and then we return the proof count so now we add an on click event and inside it we just pass in the for this the decrease count function this place as well the reset count function and the increase count function the next thing now is where do we have access to the count the count we are increasing here this is the count this is the value of the state so just pass it here open close curly brace and then put count inside now let's save this and run it hopefully there's no error so let's increase count decrease count and reset easy peasy right let me show you if there was no initial state if i left this empty now we have this as undefined or not can you see the initial state the first thing is it does not give any value any initial value so you just have a blank if i should click on increase counts see not the number undefined cannot be increased by one it is the normal convention so just put your use state at the top of the functional components any state you want to 
declare so it's easier to find now one more thing i want to show you is where to check for your state where the state is on your browser so let's open our browser let me make this bigger and open the development tools using ctrl shift i we'll click here and go to components and then you can see our components which is the app and if you click on it we have the props the hooks the first state we created if i should increase this can you see this is also increasing and that is all about our use state hook in upcoming videos i'm going to be explaining other hooks the use state the use ref um the use context the use memo and also how to create your own custom hook in react so that you can know when i upload these videos you can click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified anytime i upload a new video thanks so much don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have anything you do not understand, you can tell me in the comment section below. I will definitely reply. Bye for now.